from the Rhinestone World bringing you a TRW Lab. As you've seen online, we've been doing some glass etching, so I wanted to show you how you can etch your very own wine glass using your Silhouette Cameo. I don't have my Cameo here, but I have cut out my design already on our FDC vinyl. I used a piece of scrap vinyl. It's a great way to use some of your scraps. So first, um, I cut out the weeding box. So I'm going to take my pick tool and take out my outline first. This gives me a clear border to put my application tape on. So I'll put that to the side. And normally you would take out this box to put down your decal, but we are going to reverse weed our design because we want this to show on our glass. So I'll take my pick tool and just go ahead and bring this up. So now I have my decal material weeded the opposite way. So you can see, you can see the backing on the design, but this is, this is how we want it to put on the glass. So next, just like applying a normal decal, we're going to use our application tape. So we'll cut off a piece. And this isn't too big, so I don't have to cut all the way down. So here's our application tape. I'm going to put it down on our decal. And it's okay if it doesn't touch the top because we just really want it to grab these middle pieces. So we're going to smooth it down, make sure we really have it. And just like one of our normal decals, we'll peel it right up. So now we have our whole design on our application tape. Now the next part's a little bit tricky. Wine glasses are round and they taper. So it's not a straight side that you can put it on. So what I do is I'll take my design, find where I wanna put it, and then start applying it on the glass in with the middle first. So the middle, and then just smooth out as you go your design onto the glass. And it's, it, it is going to buckle in places. The most important part is to get it as smooth as possible on the edges because you don't want the cream to get underneath there. So with wine glasses, you wanna to try to stick to one of the smaller designs because the bigger your design, the more it's going to buckle. So this one went on pretty well, but um, like any glass etching, you wanna really smooth it out to get rid of any space you have. So I'll go ahead and smooth this out. If you don't have a scraper, you you know, I highly recommend getting one. It works great. It takes a lot of the effort out for you. So this buckle part, that's okay because these edges are nice and smooth. So we'll go ahead and kind of just get the edges to stick. It's okay that they're not flat on there. We just need that to put a little buffer space. So we'll take this tape off. And now we have our design on the wine glass. So if you can see where the edges of the design are, it's pretty smooth. And that's what we're looking for. This, not a big deal. The reason why we put this box here is you want a little bit of a buffer area when you put your cream on. So next we're going to put on the cream. Right now I'm using Armor Edge Cream. It is a chemical etching cream. So if it's going to etch in a glass, I highly recommend wearing gloves because you might burn your hands with the chemicals. So I'll put my gloves on. There you go. And with the cream, you wanna stir it a little bit before you apply it, just to make sure it's even. So I'm gonna take our little knife just mix it a little bit, just like paint or any other material, you wanna get it mixed. So next, we're going to put our cream on our glass. So we'll go over there and we'll just brush it on. So you wanna make sure you cover all of these areas and make sure you're putting it on nice and even. So you can put a, more on there. 
Um, the nice thing about this glass etching cream is whatever you don't use, you can scrape right back off and put it in your in your uh, container. So definitely don't soak it, but you don't have to worry about conserving your cream because whatever doesn't etch into the glass will be able to go right back in the container. So now you have your design covered. You know, you just kind of make sure spots are covered evenly. And you, so that looks good. And this buffer area gives me space so I don't have to worry about getting the cream on the rest of my glass. And now I'm going to set a timer for five minutes and then we're going to rinse it off. Okay, so five minutes have passed and now it's time to scrape off the excess and see if our etching turned out. So I have a uh, little scraper with a scoop on it. So I'm just going to take all of this excess cream. I'm just going to put it right back in our bottle. So the etching cream is going to last you a good amount of time because there's very little waste with it. So we have that rinsed off, and now we just have to rinse it off and then see how it turns out. So now we have our glass rinsed off. I spared you the details of our bathroom. It is a normal bathroom. So we have it all rinsed off and I just wiped it off with a paper towel and off come these gloves. I don't need them anymore. And the moment of truth. We'll peel this up. So some water did get under here. So the etching is a little bit dark right now, but that's something that'll go away once you dry it off a little bit. Let's dry it off, take off these little pieces. You can always use your pick tool to grab these. But as you can see, we have a nice clear line going on. That's one of the things I love about using our FDC vinyl is it makes a real nice tight seal and none of the cream gets under there. And so you can get some pretty precise lines depending on what you want so there it is we have a custom wine glass using my silhouette cameo and FDC vinyl and armor etch etching cream so this is a one-of-a-kind wine glass that is also dishwasher safe because this is etched into the glass you don't have to worry about anything peeling off and once you wash it, you don't even have to worry about any chemicals. So it's a nice, safe way to put a little personal touch on any glass items you have. So make sure you keep subscribing to our YouTube channel. We'll be doing a few more things. I have a couple other ways that we can incorporate glass etching with our vinyl. And so we'll see you soon. This is Lisa from the Rhinestone World.